Welcome back to Home Studios Python for Beginners series. In this video, we're going to do a tip calculator exercise. I know that's a little cliche, but it's a nice exercise to kind of review some introductory Python concepts. We're going to do the input function and take some values and convert them to floats and integers. We're going to do some calculations, and then we're going to output our strings and use some formatting to make sure it shows up like currency. We're going to start off in VS Code by making a new file, and I'll just call it tipcalc.py. And the first things we'll do in here is create some variables. We'll create one for our meal, because that'll be the first thing that we'll need, the first input. And then we'll have one for a tip, because we're also going to input that. We'll, we'll decide which tip we're going to use, how much percent of a tip we're going to use. And we're also going to throw a tax in here. This will be a tax. This could be something we could put in right away. And I'm just going to use Pennsylvania sales tax. Now you could put in 6 and divide by 100. You could put in 6 times 0.01 to make sure it comes out as a decimal, or you can just do 0.06. And we'll just start off with that. We'll just leave it at 0.06. Now for a meal, we're gonna do an input. So I'm gonna put an input. And inside the parentheses, we'll just put a little string here. We'll say enter your meal amount. And then for a tip, we're gonna copy this so we don't have to type it again. And we're gonna say enter your tip percent. Now you could say percent, or you could just use the percent sign. Right off the bat, looking back at our previous video, remember these take data as a string so we want to convert this so since a meal might have cents on it meaning it might have a decimal let's make this a float so we'll convert it to a float right away just remember to put your parentheses around the whole thing so that you have two sets of parentheses and for tip it's only going to be a percent so we could just use an integer it's only going to be like you know 15 20 25 something like that so we'll just use an integer for that use the int and tax, we don't have to do anything. That'll come up as a float since we're using a decimal already. And then what we're gonna have to do is do some calculations. So I'll put a comment here and I'll say calcs. And what we'll need to figure out first is our tip amount. Now we'll already have our meal amount from here. So our tip amount is gonna be whatever they put in, something like 25, 20, whatever. And we're just gonna put tip, and I'm gonna put underscore amount just to differentiate it from the original tip value of you know 20, 25. And for this one, we're gonna eventually have to convert it to a percent. So we're gonna have to either times it by 0.01 or divide it by 100. But we can also say meal times tip divided by 100. We could do that. So whatever it is, so and it'll go left to right. So it should be okay. And we could always double check it to make sure it's okay. But that should be our tip amount that we get from our meal. And then what we're gonna need is our tax. And that's gonna also be based on the meal. So we're gonna say tax, and just to be consistent, we'll say tax amount, and it'll just be meal times the tax. And I think that's all we should need so far. We're gonna have two print statements. So we're gonna do a print statement, and we're gonna say your meal was whatever, and I'll just put curly brackets, and your tip was, and I'll put curly brackets. Now it's showing up in weird colors because I don't have this as a string yet, so I'll make this whole thing a string and I'll put F in here, so it's an F in front of this, so it's an F string, and it'll know to put variables in here. And I guess I'll put a period at the end. And since we are gonna use values that are currency, I'm gonna put a dollar sign in front, so it looks like money. And then I'm just gonna copy this print statement again and paste it here, and I'll just say your total with tax, we're just gonna put something there. So we're gonna have a total here. Now, that's what we're missing up here. We didn't create a total yet, so let's create a total and the total will just equal meal plus tip amount. Now this will be the complete total plus tax amount. And then in here we could put total. And then the meal was, we know what the meal was, so we could just put meal in here. Tip was, and you could put the percent tip in here, but we're just gonna put the tip amount. So we have our variables in here, we have our F strings in here. And I think that's all we need so far. We have these converted to a float, this converted to an integer. We would get an error if we tried to do math without converting these, we'd get an error. It would be treating them as strings. So we're, we've taken care of that already from previous work that we've done. And now it's time to just check it out. So I'm gonna run it. I'll just right click right in an empty area here and choose run Python file and terminal. And it's gonna prompt me to enter my meal amount. So I'll just put in something easy like 20 and I'll hit enter and I'll put 25. So I know that should be like $5, 25% of 20 should be $5. I'll just put 25 and it said the meal is 20.0 and your tip was 5.0 and your total was 26.2. 
Now that's actually right, except it's not formatted correctly, and we talked about this in the previous video. And one thing I'll do here too, I'll put in a backslash n, and I'll put a backslash n here just to separate things. So these kind of get separated from from the prompt when we do that, so it's not all jumbled together. But one other thing we'll do here is the format function where we were doing that with strings, but if we do something here where we put a colon and we do 2f, that's gonna put two decimal places. And it works with integers and floats. It will not work with a string. And it's colon, and then it's dot 2f. So if you ever needed a certain amount of decimals, like for money you would need two. If you're doing a batting average for baseball, you would need three. So that's what we're gonna put in here, colon dot 2f. And I think that's all we should need. So let's try it out again. Clear this out and make a new terminal. Run it in here again. Enter the meal amount, I'll do 20 again, just to make sure. And the tip, I'll do 25 again. And it says your meal was 20, and your tip was five. So I don't know why I did that. What did I do here? Oh, I didn't put my decimal in here. It's putting a whole bunch of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure why it did six. That's way too many. So let's try it again. And I'll clear this out. And I'll try it one more time. And I'll just do the same thing. 20, 25, and your meal was 20, and your tip was $5. And your total was tax, with tax was 2620, and I just didn't have the dollar sign there, and that's about it. So that's pretty much it. That's our, our exercise, just a little review of some of the things we've been doing. And eventually we'll build upon this. We'll be able to do something with a GUI with TK Enter where we can actually enter fields. But for now, this is just a way just to kind of review our variables, our floats, our integers, and just some formatting here with F strings.